technology is the most powerful change in the world of education. Welcome to the video interview series Augmented Reality Based Technology in the Classroom, delivered to you by Clever Books Company. Hello everyone, we continue our podcast series Augmented Reality Technology in Education and so we have a fabulous guest today with us, David, and he will be sharing his experience, his professional opinion on augmented reality-based technology, and I'm so looking forward to uh, talking to you, David. Hello. Hey, thanks for having me. It's really exciting to be, to be back on, on the show, this time uh, on a video, which is cool, um, and uh, especially to talk about augmented reality, which is something that over the last couple of weeks especially, um, I've had a chance to, to really delve into and, and have a look and see how it impacts on classrooms. So thank you very much. Appreciate the, the time here. Thank you for being with us. And today I would like you to just introduce yourself, then we'll start talking about uh, your experience with AR. Well, I'm the innovation pioneer for the rehab group. Um, my job is looking at uh, new technologies and new ways to support uh, people with disabilities. Uh, but I come uh, from a educational background, uh, specifically working with young adults with learning this technology, how we can uh, support learning in the classrooms, uh, and also just teaching them very simple and basic things as well, such as um, literacy and improving reading comprehension and, and things like that. Uh, so a broad range of, of things from uh, basic level um, information to uh, technical skills as well, such as um, you know, building computers and, and that kind of thing. So it's been, it's been really fun, uh, lots of diversity. Um, and uh, at the moment as well, we also have a community called Learning Tech Labs, which we founded with myself and Amy Keith. Uh, that's um, about 3,000 strong community of educators, technologists, uh, entrepreneurs who are building their own educational technology. Uh, and we run a startup weekend uh, where we've seen augmented reality be something that a lot of educators and, and students who come to build their own uh, technologies start to look at and start to try and develop their own ways to implement augmented reality uh, in the classroom and also from a business perspective as well, which is quite interesting. Absolutely. As, as far as what we see, augmented reality entering not only education sector, but also other uh, business sectors and uh, implemented uh, worldwide and people are getting very, very creative with it. Yeah, and I think that that creativity is one of the big parts of why it's so impactful in the classroom, and uh, I'm sure that we'll we'll talk about that as we as we go through this. Um, what I'd like to do is if give people a bit of a sense of of what uh, augment, augmented reality is, and uh, because I know that for myself, when I started off, I would find a podcast or find a website and kind of go, okay, well, I I know that I know the word, I know that the topic, and uh, but I don't really know what it, what it looked like in, 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 in what it looks like in reality. So yeah, so when I was starting to, to look at augmented reality, I'd go on a website, I'd have a look and see really what it, what it meant because I'd seen AR, I'd seen VR, I'd seen AI, and after a while, all of these things start to you know merge into one. You start to really try and understand what, what it is. Uh, so really what it is is looking at uh, the real world, but through um, a lens, that allows uh, computer-generated images to be superimposed on top of what you're seeing in, in reality. And what you'll be able to see is uh, an augmented reality version. So what we can see here is a little uh, merge cube, which is basically nothing, only foam, uh, with some designs on the outside. And uh, what it does is it allows uh, a student or a learner, or whoever it might be, to look and, and see something that isn't actually there, uh, but start to interact with it. So this is the galaxy that we're looking at here, and you can touch on the different images, get some more information, start to really go in deep and close into it to get a better sense of, uh, of what space is. But that can be done with pretty much any topic. And I think that's something that what you're doing with, with Cleverbooks is, is, really, is really great, and uh, that you've seen the potential of actually supplying uh, augmented reality augmenting your, your classrooms and your lesson plans for teachers and really giving them something interactive that, first of all, really sparks the imaginations and the interest of your, of your learners. Uh, and then that's something that teachers and educators can start to build on. Uh, and then we've seen lots of studies that support you know, a lot of the, the benefits of this, uh, which, is, which is really exciting. And, and that's something that I think, as an educator, 
we really need to start to take seriously as well because once we start to see these studies coming true that show that there's an imp- increase in motivation, there's increase in involvement and engagement, well, we can utilize that and then we can start to, to build better outcomes for our students as well, which is, which is exciting. I think, it's, I think it's really exciting. Absolutely. It's visualizing the topic. It's, as you said, engaging the kids, providing the immersive learning and something that they have fun with. Yes, uh, I think that's, that's really important because if you don't have fun in the classroom, you know what happens yourself. We've all been in, we've all been in those situations as a, as a student, even as an adult student or a, a young student where just the teacher does not have that element of fun and then you start to get bored, you start to daydream, you lose concentration and then suddenly you're a couple of weeks down into the subject and you realize you're actually behind other people. Um, and then that in itself, I know from my own personal experience, starts to demotivate because you think, oh, well, what's the point? Because I'm so far behind, then I'm not going to start to engage with it. But I think that early stage is the key for, for a lot of learning. If you can keep students engaged, keep them up to track, keep them up to date with where they are in their learning process, um, it allows them to, to, to keep their own intrinsic motivations as well, um, as well as you know providing... Uh, more support and more opportunities to learn in in different ways um, and I think that can only only be a good thing and looking at my own uh, classrooms when we brought in augmented reality we've looked at things like problem solving uh, the benefits of teamwork the social skills uh, and for young adults with, with learning disabilities uh, people coming in as well with uh, autism they're really important uh, aspects to have especially the social aspects because there's a lot of learning there there's a lot of peer learning there's a lot of um, even outside of the, the classroom uh, learning outcomes, you have these social engagements that um, support students to feel more comfortable uh, in their learning environments, not just in the classroom, but in the canteen, in the, the spaces around the school. And then that in itself, that actually brings it back to the classroom and you have a better environment within the classroom that kind of nurtures this uh, spirit of uh, community and collaboration and you start to, to learn together. Uh, you're not just, you know, you have one student there learning, another student there. It actually becomes a full immersive environment where the teacher as well uh, is learning with their students and they're learning with each other. And that's uh, very, when, when it happens and when it works well, uh, it's a very uh, pleasant experience. And students start to enjoy coming in, which is un- <laughs> unusual, I think. Uh, and I'm not saying they enjoyed coming into my classroom all the time. I'm sure, I'm sure they didn't. Uh, but but there were times where you'd have them coming in excited, uh, show me on their phones the the new apps that they they, they they downloaded themselves and what they'd done and how they'd worked on it at home, which is which is always really fun, uh, especially when. Uh, you're, you're trying to, to encourage that. So it's such a great atmosphere in the classroom t- and to enjoy for everyone, for the teachers and the students. <laughs> yeah, some, sometimes, not all the time. <laughs> okay. I would really like you to talk about how you put um, use of augmented reality into practice into the classroom and maybe share one or two experiences uh, uh, how you integrated it is in your lesson plan and what the outcome was. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one of uh, one of the really interesting things that we did, um, and just because it's shining and sunny and we have blue skies here in Ireland at the moment, shining in the window, I think it just it reminded me um, of uh, it was a couple of years ago, uh, and we were working in a class and we were looking at um, the periodic table, uh, looking at the different elements and how things interacted and worked with each other, and we were trying to think of of ways to really uh, support the learning here and um, it was it was a hot day so we decided that we'd have a, a discussion um, in our in our lesson based around uh, the temperature uh, what people would need on a hot day and then obviously the one of the things that came up was we need water so we we asked the question so how do we how do we make water how do we get water and um, I'd seen an augmented reality um, uh, application that supported um, little tiny cubes and you could print them out and on each side of the cube they had a different um, uh, periodic uh, element and what we decided to do was explore um, what we needed to make water. So you need your hydrogen, you need your oxygen. Uh, they printed out their, these cubes, they made the cubes themselves so there's an element of creativity there so they're engaged in the actual creation themselves uh, and then what we did was we started to look and try the different 
uh, elements and some elements you know they could combine but then we had our, we got our hydrogen we got our oxygen and on the the phone you could see that in this you could see the little uh, hydrogen atom you could see here as well the oxygen and when you you connected the two together uh, on the phone uh, through augmented reality they would turn into water in their little boxes so the two boxes together combined and turned into water and it's, it's quite simple in the overall scheme of things but the, the, the process of getting to that point really engages students in that learning experience. And it was something that I hadn't done before. It was a new lesson to me. Um, and I even found myself getting excited uh, with the students as they were starting to try things out and really engage with, with the topic. And um, also, I think what's important as well is allowing them to document this. So we took screenshots of uh, this in action and we said we'd, we'd tweet it out and see how many uh, responses we got to our to an account and and that went really well and then even from that and the feedback that they got it encouraged them to continue on uh, learning in in this way and to to take some pride in in their learning which i think actually is is very hard to to achieve um, and just get students to see the value of the learning that they're doing and the, what they're doing in the classroom so i'm always encouraging people to to share uh, especially with augmented reality, with virtual reality, and the new technologies, these emerging technologies, share what you're doing in a classroom. Encourage other teachers, but also in the same process, you're encouraging students to really see the value that, oh, I'm doing something that's innovative here. Uh, I can encourage other students to, to learn in, in new ways and to really uh, embrace that. Um, and from that, then, we, we found that there was better attention. So <laughs> the next day when you come in and you ask, well, how do we make water? they're able to tell you straight away whereas i'm sure that if i'd hand them out leaflets or you know try to do a one of, uh, just a talk at them um, i don't think that would have would have stuck now i haven't tested it but i would imagine that that would be uh, the case so it's something that um, augmented reality also helps to provide uh, certain experiments that you might not be able to do in real life or if it's something that could, if you put the wrong ingredient in, uh, it can be quite dangerous. We had one <laughs> guest speaker who was talking about that. You know, it, it's just an amazing way to uh, show the kids what can be done in a I, very I safe so. way. <laughs> in a very safe way, yes, exactly. Uh, I can remember a few, uh, when I was studying chemistry myself in school, I can remember a few near misses. So I think this would have really helped uh, my teacher if, if she could have just given me things I was, a, I was a little bit dangerous as well, so I can appreciate that. Yeah, it, it allows uh, classes, even just full classes, and, and supports people with disabilities as well to transport outside of their environment so that you can go and you can um, see new uh, experiences like we had here. We, like none of us can go to space yet, but we can still see how the, the solar system works um, and, and interact with it. Or even with virtual reality, we can go on, we can go on different tours, we can see new spaces. Um, and I think that's, that's really exciting. I think um, it allows people to have um, more diverse experiences, which of course in itself um, prevents um, that disengagement because you're, you start to go, oh, but well, what else can we do? And, and really start to look at that, which, is, which I think is, is really, really fun. Um, and one of the things that I've noticed as well in the classroom, and I think is really important for these new emerging technologies, is um, that it supports empathy as well. So I think being able to see other people's perspectives. Um, if we're studying uh, a story on people in Syria, for example, that the augmented reality provides us with an opportunity to immerse ourselves more into that and really understand and put ourselves into other people's uh, shoes and other people's perspectives. Um, and that to me is, I think, probably one of the, the key areas moving forward in education is that we provide uh, this uh, support to allow our students to develop their empathy and to ex explore this area because even especially with technology, I think we've we've stepped away from empathy quite a lot. Uh, I don't think we provide it. We become very uh, disembodied in our, in our voices, in our opinions, and um, because we're behind our screens. Uh, I think what this does is it allows us to become more em in, in emerged and immersed into um, other people's worlds. Um, and I think that that's 
I, only a good thing. It can be, only be a good thing if we can start to, to understand how other people are feeling. And what augmented reality does is it allows us that little bit more to understand others' perspectives and to uh, empathize with them. Now, it sounds fantastic and sounds it's something that really does bring value, uh, not only to the classroom, but the overall uh, learning process and uh, the skills that people, uh, kids are developing and also the attitudes uh, they, are, they, they will have uh, in terms of uh, different subjects. And, and I would like to ask you also, because you work with children with disabilities and uh, you've um, used augmented reality uh, in the classroom and it would be really interesting to, to hear what improvements you've seen in kids learning and what are the key benefits you can suggest that AR really brought to the um, educational process. I think in, in the terms of uh, some of the, the students that have been working with intellectual disabilities, often the, the social skills, the softer skills are things that people don't appreciate as much, especially in education when we're very much um, outcome focused learning outcomes. We want to hit our targets. We want to, you know, see percentage increases and things like that. And often in the case of looking with young adults, uh, or teenagers with uh, disabilities we should value more is actually their social interaction um, because these are things that to the workplace as well and and often um, they're overlooked um, and I think that what augmented reality does and other emerging technologies whether it be virtual worlds mixed reality um, in, uh, integrating games into the, the classroom such as uh, Minecraft or whatever it might be, what I have seen is that the social interaction and the the, the communication of um, young students in the classroom increases fivefold. Uh, from just from I suppose it's it's a very uh, it's from my own experience, um, and that's what I I would see happening. Uh, and this in itself starts to lead to to confidence growth. And what we've seen is that. From that, um, I had one student who, who told me in the first couple of weeks that, and he told everybody else too, that he hated the course. He didn't like it and he just, he wanted to leave. Um, and we brought in um, some different technologies. We tried out augmented reality. We tried out um, uh, Minecraft and things like that. And little by little, he, he started, he wouldn't talk to anyone before that. And then he started to communicate without ever realizing because he he had uh, a connection with the technology more than with the people but when other people were using the technology then he started to talk to them without ever even being self-aware of it you know so he was just this started and started and then suddenly from just standing on his own just on his phone outside of the classroom he was in the the canteen and he, he was talking and I went in one day and he was laughing with uh, his peers and they were watching a video on his phone and he was sharing what we'd been doing in the classroom, but in a different way. And little by little then we saw that impacting. So we were doing tennis courses uh, and he wouldn't bring his, um, his runners and he wouldn't take part. And then he started to bring his runners and then he wouldn't stop. And then he started to become very proud of it. And I'm not going to attribute all of it to the technology and, and the things that we brought in, but it was, um, it was a key factor. Um, it was that communication that uh, allowed him then to be able to start to understand how he could collaborate and communicate with his peers that then automatically started to to spread into the other areas of his life and and then again i think as well um moving away from that particular story i think one of the key aspects of what augmented reality can do is to support a in reading comprehension and in uh, literacy. Um, and I think that is one of the, the key areas that, especially in the area that I work in, holds people back. It can be that stumbling block of, I can build a computer, but when it comes to actually doing my, my numeracy or literacy exam, I can't get it down on paper. I, I, uh, and that is the thing that your funders want to see, the, the people that um, 
are correcting exams who want to see that you have this paper done and you can answer these questions. They don't necessarily see that you've built this high spec gaming computer uh, and put it all together. Um, and I think that augmented reality, I was talking to um, Jamie Donnelly recently on, on a Skype call, uh, and she was um, telling me about the potential of going into uh, an augmented world where you can walk around your numbers and around your letters and start to, to interact with them. And through that, then you're starting to get a better visual uh, idea of, of what these are. And therefore, the learning starts to come with that and the retention starts to come with that as well. And that is really exciting. And I haven't actually tried that myself in the classroom, but it's something that I'm, I'm really excited to do in the next few weeks. And I can, uh, if, I, if I have a video or anything like that, I'm happy to share that with you at that stage. Uh, and I, uh, I can uh, share a link. And, and hopefully then in, in a few weeks' time from now, when, when this is going out, uh, that I'll have something that I can show uh, some of the students that we have actually, you know, doing this in, in real life, which I think will be really cool. Absolutely. We'll be glad to add it uh, under the podcast so people can also uh, see it and as a real example. Yeah, I, I think that's, that's always important. Everybody wants real examples, you know, because I, I suppose there's so many articles, there's so many things out there that and you just want something practical that you can say, Absolutely. okay, I can take that now, I can put it into practice, I can try it tomorrow, I can do it right now if I really want to. And often it's very simple. Um, there's lots of free applications out there that you can, you can try and you can mess around with and you can have fun with as well. And I think when you're starting off, don't be afraid to try something. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, you know, because that's part of your process as well as an educator to actually be able to try something out and say, okay, well, I've reflected on that. That's not going to work for me. So we, we, can, we can move on and try something else. And what works for one educator in their particular environment may not work. And, I, and that is um, one of the areas I would encourage people uh, to, to really start to look at other educators, but then to adapt it uh, to their specific environment. Really understand who you've got, who your audience, who your classroom, and the spaces that you have as well. And say, okay, well, they've done it this way, but I can do it this way. And actually, what you might find is that um, it works better. And, and then you share that and, and other people can, can learn from that as well. Um, there are a couple of areas, I think, and this is one thing I really wanted to, to share, is for educators who are thinking about using augmented reality, just a couple of things to, to consider. Um, and also, obviously, the cost and the funding is, is one thing. But then just understanding the other people that you've got as well. And this goes, I suppose, maybe more so for principals and managers who are, who are actually trying to support their own teachers. Um, is look at, look at the, the, the training that's required. Um, look at some of the, the technologist evangelists that you have in your school and utilize them uh, and, and value them and, and get them to engage with these, these projects and actually share their learning and, and their expertise with your other uh, educators so that um, you start to create a community within your school of educators who are sharing their expertise uh, and, and really encouraging other educators to really engage with these technologies. Because what you'll find is you may have somebody, and I've, I've found this myself, you may have somebody who has never experienced this, they may not even know it exists, uh, but with a little support, and again, that practicality of seeing it in action. Um, so I've gone into plenty of classrooms with other educators um, and just done one class and they've taken it up and then they've run with it. And I'm sure they've done much better things than I've done as well. Um, but it just it allows that kind of uh, sharing of information um, in terms of uh, for professionals as well um, and then reporting it. Um, and one of the, the key areas, again, is to look at the actual problems that you have, not to just put in augmented reality for the fun of it, but to actually, when you're creating your, your lesson structures and looking at your curriculum and looking at your year and how you're laying it out, is look at the pain points. Look at the key areas that you go, okay, this could be a, a problem. Last year, I couldn't get them to engage. And then implement it based on that as opposed to just putting it in. You can have it for fun and there's areas there, but if you're going to do it properly, you should really be starting to identify those, those, those areas and then linking uh, all of the, those areas to potential augmented reality or other technolo technological uh, solutions. And I think that's where you start to, to see the benefits when there's, there's a, a real foundation 
to the, the technology that you're putting in. Well, thank you very much, David. Uh, such a great inspirational advice uh, that's, you know, to teachers who haven't used that yet and who are planning to do that. So I'm sure that you have encouraged, you have encouraged to many to try it out and give it a go. And it's, it was great that you shared the practical application of AR in the classroom and also um, kind of gave the suggestions and ideas of how the teachers can start and uh, how they can implement it to the lesson plan covering the gaps where, as you said, that uh, they may be, the lessons didn't go quite well last year, but it's something, it's another tool that they can use and try the lesson in a different pers perspective. Uh, absolutely, and look, if, if people are really uh, interested in the area, I'd encourage them obviously to, to look at what you're doing, which I think is fantastic, and um, also looking at people like Brad Wade, uh, Jamie Donnelly, uh, and those who have really um, thought about this and, and gone deep into the into the subject from an educational perspective. Uh, even people uh, in the UK, uh, such as uh, David Gucher, who's doing a, a few things like that. And I think that would be really worthwhile um, following them, seeing what they're doing on Twitter, and then uh, seeing what you can bring into your own classroom then. So yeah, no, it's been, it's been fun. Uh, it's always good and a pleasure to, to have a chat with you. Yes. Well, thank you, David. It's been a pleasure having you, and thanks so much for sharing your opinion. No problem at all. Thank you. Everything changes.